Hey guys, it's Deb. Welcome to part 17 of Let's Play The Sims 3 Runaway Teen Challenge. In our last episode, Abby and Brandon decided to celebrate the very last night of summer by throwing a party here at the campground. And Abby just happened to learn that her friend Justin Farmwood is now dating her enemy, Pam Carnegie. Now, you may recall that ever since Abby came to town, Pam Carnegie has done everything that she can possibly think of to make Abby's life miserable. I mean, Abby tried to be friends with Pam. She was really nice to Pam, but Pam wasn't having it. Every time Pam sees Abby, she slaps her and yells at her and just tries to fight with her. Um, well, you do not slap around Abby Sherwood and get away with it. So Abby has a plan. She's been standing here chatting with Justin and building up um, her relationship with him to the point that they are now best friends. And the reason that she has done this <laughs> is because Abby has a plan. A plan to mess with Miss Pam Carnegie's relationship with Justin. Yes, Abby is going to cause trouble uh, because Pam so rightly deserves it. What she's going to do is she is going to dare Justin to kiss someone else here at this party. <laughs> she wants to dare him to kiss um, Vale Thompson. Now, Corinne Milhouse is also at the party. She's a good friend, but Corinne is dating Derek Rockford, which Abby does not want to mess up their relationship. However, Val is dating Tom Lanville, and Tom Lanville, he seems like a little bit of a creeper, stalker type person. He's kind of always up in Abby's face and making her feel really uncomfortable. So she's not really um, worried about messing up Tom Lanville's relationship um, with Vale Thompson, and she would much rather see Vale with Justin to be truthful. So she's going to do it. She is going to dare him to kiss <laughs> Vale Thompson, and we will just see if he will do this. Uh, because their relationship is so good, because they are best friends, more than likely he will do it. So let's just see. Dare to kiss Vale Thompson. Now, I don't know how this is going to go. There's a 95% chance that Vale is going to yell at him and scream at him. I don't know. I think he's good friends with Vale, but I could be wrong. But we're going to watch and see what happens. We're going to follow him and see how this goes down. And there's little unsuspecting Vale right there. So let's find out. Wait a minute. I want to get in a close because I want to see what happens. And I bet you she yells and screams at him. Mm. Let's just see. What's she going to do? <gasps> she took it. She's kissing him back. Woohoo! I'm so happy to see that. Uh-oh. Okay. Now, you know, this is so silly. Abby has witnessed betrayal. Um... <laughs> She's mad. She's lost a friend. She's mad now at Vale, and it's Abby's own fault. So that makes no sense at all whatsoever. Abby instigated this whole plan, and because Abby did instigate this plan, I am going to delete this moodlet, and I am going to make Vale her friend again because it was Abby's fault. Abby did it. I think they were about like that. Um, okay, so I'm really, really happy, extremely happy that this happened. Uh, so that now means that Justin and Vale will have a romantic relationship now. Now, where is Tom Lanville? Is he still even here? Oh, he's not even here. He's gone home, which is good. Uh, well, he, he hasn't gone home, but he's gone somewhere. I don't know. But I'm really, really glad to see that Tom Lanville's nowhere to be found because that means that love could bloom between Vale and Justin, and I really hope it does. Um, I really, really do. And what's Abby doing? She's going to add wood to that fire. And what is Justin doing? Justin is listening to, um, is that Derek Crockford? 
I kind of want to keep my eye on them. <laughs> kind of don't want to tear myself away. Kind of want to see if they are going to do anything else really quick. Um, and it looks like they're just going to chat and be friends. Um, I thought that Brandon had already read the pregnancy book, but he has got the want to read the pregnancy book. Um, what happened? What just happened between them? What? Oh, he's mad because she... Okay. We've got to fix this relationship. Um, it looks like, quite possibly, Brandon got mad at her for interfering in that, that relationship. So she's going to have to make things better with him. Um, oh, let's flip, flip to her. She's going to have to apologize and tell him, you know... What do you mean, announce pregnancy? What's wrong with this game? He already knows she's pregnant. <laughs> I mean, my goodness. Uh, she'll go ahead and do it again. Oh, I know. Probably the reason why is because um, I did have to reset my town. Um, at the end of the last episode because um, something was going wonky. But that's probably what that's all about. Um, okay, so she's going to have to fix this relationship. She's going to um, compliment him. And just, she's going to apologize to Brandon and tell him, you know, I'm really sorry. But, you know, I did it for his own good. Because she's going to express sympathy for Tom. You know, she's sorry. Um, she does not mean to hurt Tom, and that's what Brandon's upset about. Brandon's not upset about um, Pam Carnegie. He could care less about Pam Carnegie. But Brandon is friends with Tom Lanville, and he's upset that she messed with Tom Lanville and Vale's relationship. But, you know, um, she's just going to explain to him that she thinks that it, it's better for everyone around because, you know, she thinks that Justin Farmwood would be really hurt by Pam Carnegie, and she thinks that he's a much better match with Val than Tommy is. And she's just going to explain that and ask him, please do not be, um, you know, upset with me. You know, I, I'm sorry about Tom, and I really care about Tom, but, you know... I did what I thought would be best. Oh, and he's kissing her, so, you know. <laughs> so, it looks like their relationship will be mended pretty quickly. Um, she's going to do a bunch of romantic stuff to him, too. And, because we have got to get this relationship back up. And, um, and um, she's just going to flirt with him and do flirtatious joke. And he still loves her. He, you know, she is the love of his life. And he is the love of her life. And, you know, I'm pretty sure it's not going to take long for that to get all the way back up to all the way green. It's not going to take long at all. Uh, but Abby does feel kind of bad about Tom Lanville. But at the same time... She wants to snub him. Now, Brandon doesn't know that Tom had been acting like a creeper and all up in Abby's face all the time. And if he had known that, and Abby has not told him, and the reason she didn't tell Brandon is because she was afraid that Brandon would get in a fight with Tom because it would make Brandon really mad to find out, uh, you know, that Tom had been acting that way. So that's why she did not tell him. Um about all that, but it looks like they're gonna, oh, gross, they're gonna woohoo in the all-in-one bathroom. <laughs> if it was just a shower, it would be fine, but with the toilet in there, I just, I just don't like that at all whatsoever. I, I think they should have picked a tent, you know, you've got all these tents here, but no, you go to the all-in-one bathroom to woohoo. Um, yeah, so, um, their relationship is, is getting better. And it looks like Vail and Justin are having a pretty good time dancing over here. Has everyone else left? It looks like she's going to kiss him. So I, I do not even have to worry one single little teeny tiny bit about their relationship. Uh, it's going to pretty much fix itself. And 
Korean is still here. I heard Korean kind of sighing or something. Um, Abby's going to add wood to that fire. What she really needs to do um, is come over here and harvest some of this stuff. I see some pumpkins over here. Let's get these pumpkins. Abby Sherwood is now a wingman with within the jocks social group. Well, that's really good. Um, and let's go over here. Oh, Brandon must be taking a shower or, or going to the bathroom or something. And it looks like everyone has pretty much left the party. I guess everybody kind of got mad at Abby um, because of what she did, messing in their relationship. Everyone is mad about it except for Justin and Vale. And I kind of hope they hang around here. You know, um, the four of them could, like, double date. I think that would probably be a pretty good idea. Abby Sherwood is harvesting the produce over there. And what is Brandon doing? Brandon's going to, um, I think I'm going to let Brandon harvest some stuff, too. What do we got over here? We've got a raspberry bush. Because, um, you know, this is, we've got pears. This is the very last night of summer. Which means that um, we're not going to be able to ha be harvesting things much longer. Now, um, I guess we really need to only harvest things that we can grow indoors. And we can buy some pots and things like that. What have we got over here? Cocoa plant, garlic plant. Um, we won't harvest any trees or anything like that. What's this? Strawberry plant. Um, you know what? I think I'm just going to let Brandon, well, I was going to let him talk to Korean, but I guess I will go ahead, um, and have him harvest these, um, raspberry bushes. Oh, they're not harvestable, huh? Okay, here we go. Harvest, and I'm going to speed through really, really fast. It is 6.20 p.m., and we'll just see if they're hungry. They will be hungry before long, and, um... Possibly, maybe, they could group up. Well, they just left. <laughs> I was going to say they could group up with Val. Um, but, you know, the two of them left. And I don't know where they... Or, wait, here they are. No, she, Val left. Um, and he's talking to Korean. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to fast forward through this harvesting. Let them harvest for a few minutes. Um, Claire Rockford has been out on the town trimming down the locals. That's good. And Brandon is harvesting a bunch of stuff. And Abby's, Abby's harvesting a bunch of stuff. And it looks like the party was fantastic, but I deleted that little notification. Um, which is okay. But at least their party was a big success. And I see a bird over here. And I think it's off the lot. And because it's off the lot... We should be able to befriend it. So, uh, what's Abby Harv? Oh, she's in the bathroom. And Brandon is going to come over here and watch this cockatoo. And he's going to try to befriend this cockatoo. Because we need the money from the cockatoo. <laughs> um, what's he so upset about? Probably because it's raining. I guess that means that we should go home. But I, I'm thinking possibly... What we're going to do is, uh, we're going to go out somewhere and get something to eat. And Brandon, I thought he had already read that pregnancy book. Um, let's just see. Yeah, he's already read the pregnancy book once, but I guess I'll let him read it again. Now, we're going to go ahead and sell this bird. Oh, it's only worth $19. Big whoop. Okay. Um, and it looks like he's going home. Well, dude, aren't you forgetting someone? <laughs> I think you're forgetting your lovely uh, bride-to-be. Well, they're not engaged yet. He is going to ask her to marry him. But, you know, you are forgetting your true love, right? So, I don't know. He, he got there awfully fast. He's, like, almost home. We'll just let him go ahead and go home. What's Abby doing? She is reading... Training in the rain. Well, I don't think so. You don't need to be. Why do you have an A.O. Oh, from the pregnancy? She's going to go ahead and go home as well. Does Brandon have an umbrella? 
We need to get Brandon an umbrella, it looks like, unless he's already using the umbrella. Um, she's just going to take her own sweet time going home, it looks like. She's like, oh, at, he's not even home. He's over here. Brandon, go home, dear. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, he's going to go on home. And they are quite possibly either going to fix something to eat. Let's make sure that we don't have any bills to pay. We do have bills to pay, so Abby's going to go ahead and get the mail and pay the bills. Um, so, I don't know if we have any... Um, Abby, come on, girl. I know you're pregnant, but let's go. So, um, I don't know if we have any medals or, or jewels or gems or anything like that that we've got sent off. I don't think we do. Um, so I don't think there'd be any mail out here except for the bills, but you never can tell. <laughs> it might be a hate letter from, um, is there anything but, okay. It, I was going to say, it could be a hate letter from Pam Carnegie saying, don't mess in my relationships. Uh, Felice is now a toddler. Felice is Brandon's little half-sister, so uh, we'll have to go and see how she's doing. Um, yeah, she is now a toddler, and the Bailey Full Speed Driving School, oh, okay, okay, gotcha. <laughs> That's, they had to get their driver's license because there was no one to teach them to drive, so they had to go to driving school. Okay, but let's just see, um... They're not quite hungry quite yet. At least Abby's not. Brandon's not all that hungry. Um, I guess what we could do is probably by the time that we got somewhere, because it is pretty late. It's 8.16 p.m. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to have them go out somewhere to get something to eat. Where would be a good place for them to go? Um... They could go to, like, a nightclub or something, or they could just go to, like, the diner or something like that. Um, you know, we've got 14,000 simoleons, so it's not like we're really hurting for money right now. Um, we could go to the Chickadee Cemetery. I don't think so. <laughs> we could go to Smitty, Smitty's Coffee Shop. We could go to Bad Guys Incorporated. That sounds kind of neat. We could go uh, to the Luna Beach. Oh my gosh, the baby's coming! <laughs> the baby is coming! The baby is coming! So I guess that pretty much tells you where we're going. I guess we're not going to eat. I guess we're going to the hospital. So yeah, Brandon is going to take Abby to the hospital to have the baby. And he is so nervous. Look at him. <laughs> he doesn't look too nervous. He looks kind of calm, actually. Uh, Abby looks really calm. I'm surprised. And I'm surprised that Brandon's not jumping up and down going nuts right now. Um, I think he's ready. I, I really do. I think Brandon is ready to be a father. Even as young as he is, I think he's actually ready. Um... He wants to be a family guy. And, and, of course, Abby's the one driving the car. Because, you know, that's the way it goes in The Sims. The pregnant woman is always the one to drive the car. And I even had a pregnant Sim ride a bike to the hospital once. I don't know if you all have ever experienced that before. But that was the funniest thing ever. Um, but, yeah, I have had that happen in my game. And I cannot wait to see what Abby is having. Um... I have no idea what she's having. And I kind of hope she's having twins. Let's go, guys. You gonna go to the hospital, Abby, or not? <laughs> Get in there. Go in there. There we go. Okay, so, here we go. Oh, and before, before she has the baby, I want to look at the traits, because I want to give the baby one trait from Brandon and one trait from Abby. So Brandon loves the outdoors. He's a party animal. He's athletic and he is ambitious. Abby also loves the outdoors. She's a hopeless romantic. She's athletic and she's a computer whiz. 
Well, actually, Brandon and Abby both have loves the outdoors and athletic in common. So maybe that's what we should give the child. Or maybe not. Maybe we'll give the child one of their traits and then something totally off the wall. I don't know. We'll just see. Um, but let's see what it is. And I kind of hope it's twins. <laughs> Um, I never get twins in Sims 3, though, so it's probably not going to be twins, but I really kind of wish that it would be. Okay, come on, Abby, because it's it's time for this LP to be over, so you need to hurry up and have this baby. And she is so excited to be a mother. You know, she was really terrified when she first found out that she was expecting, um, you know, because she is so young and her curfew is in one hour. <laughs> Too bad, curfew police. Too bad. Um, anyway, what I was saying is, when Abby first found out that she was expecting a baby, she panicked. I mean, she was so scared. <gasps> Congratulations on a new baby girl. Yay, it's a girl. A happy mother and a smooth pregnancy makes for a happy baby. And Abby does get to choose two traits. And what would you like to name her? Well, Jessie Sims 114 suggested the name Charlotte if it was a girl. And I absolutely love that name. So that is what we are going to name her. We are going to name her Charlotte. Um, and of course, her last name will be Hartford. So if it's not, we'll change it. So um, I think we're going to make her athletic because both her parents are but let's find something else um instead of loves the outdoors what about um hmm i don't want her to be evil she could be friendly she could be good she could be hates the outdoors that would be something wouldn't it i don't want her to hate the outdoors um uh, she could be She could be a genius. You know what? Let's make her artistic. So she's athletic and she is artistic. Okay. And I cannot wait to see what little Charlotte looks like. And of course they take a taxi home. And I'm going to have to go back to the hospital and grab their car. Because I think they're leaving the car at the hospital. <laughs> uh, you know, that happens sometimes. Sometimes they lose their car. That's their car right there. Let's see if we can put it in her inventory. Um, okay, yeah, we can. All right, now we'll go, go home with Abby and Brandon and baby Charlotte. I'm so excited that the baby is here. And I cannot wait to see what she is going to look like. Will she look like Abby or will she look like Brandon? And it looks like she's got dark hair, I think think possibly she might have Brandon's hair. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But it is time for me to say goodbye. But I want to thank you all so very, very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you did enjoy this video, please leave me a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'll see you next time.